Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel once again. Today, we will be looking at how to optimize our system or computer performances. But before we start, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing to be part of this channel. If you have subscribed already, thank you for supporting the channel. All right, so the first command we're going to be looking at today is the what the MS config and how does that work? You're going to right click on the start icon or the start menu and then you're going to click on the run. Now you're going to type in MS config. All right, so this window will open up. You're going to go to the services tab. We're going to go to the services tab. You click on the services tab. Before we do anything on this window, we want to click on hide all Microsoft services. So you click on hide all Microsoft services, and then you're going to be presented with all the non Microsoft services. So at this point, you go through all of these services. You're going to identify the services because all of these services are running at the background. They are consuming your system resources, right? So you're going to look through, you're going to look through these services and see which of these services running at the background you don't currently need to be running at the background, consuming your system resources. So for instance, if I go through this list and then I decided that, okay, my cyber ghost, I don't want it to be running at this time because it's uh, uh, maybe consuming some of my system resources. I'm going to uh, just uncheck it. And then I'm going to check this one as well for the cyber ghost. So you're going to go through the list of all the services that are currently running on your system at the background that are competing with your uh, other program that you're running for system resources. And then you uncheck them. This is going to free up some of the system resources for whatever you're doing that you need more power, more computing power. All right. All right. So go through all, of, all the list of the, uh, the services running. Whatever service you think you don't currently need to be running at the background, just uncheck them and then you click on apply, right? And then everything is going to be applied. So now the system is, uh, the services are going to stop running at the background. All right, before we move on, I'm going to go tag to the next tab, which is the startup. So under the startup, you're going to find that this is blank. Click on open tax manager. All right, so now you have the tax manager open. So here, what we're going to do is that we're going to look at all the startup because this is the startup tab, right? So the startup tab is just going to tell you what programs are going to be starting up anytime, anytime you reboot your system, what programs are going to be starting up with your system. And sometimes you see people complaining that my system takes a longer time to reboot, right? Because we have all, we have all of these programs starting up at the same time that you're rebooting your machine. So if that happens, the reboot time takes a longer time, right? So in order for you to optimize your system performance, you might want to disable all the programs that you don't need to start up whenever you restart your machine. If you need to start this program, you can actually go in there and manually start the, 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 the program yourself. So let's say, for instance, I have this uh, T-metric desktop client that I don't want to be re restarting anytime I reboot my machine, right? Because right now it says enable. So what this means is that when I restart my machine, this T-metric desktop client is going to restart as well. So it means it's going to be computing with my machine with uh, for this, uh, the system or the limited system resources that I have, right? So if I don't want that to happen, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go down here and say, what well, disable. So this is the, has been disabled now. So it means anytime I restart my machine, this T-metric desktop client is not going to start with my machine. And then I can always go back and restart it manually if I want to use the program. This will save you some time in terms of rebooting your system. So it's always advisable to go to your startup and see what programs are enabled to start up with your machine. Right. If you don't want that to happen, you just write, you just click on that and then you disable it. And then now these are not going to be starting up with your machine. Right. You can see the impact that the startup have on your machine. This is low, medium, those, especially those that are high impact. You might want to disable that 
you know, right away. Because if, if you see anything that has high impact on your startup, it means that it takes a lot of system resources and it competes with your machine. If you don't disable some of this program, you realize that whenever you start or restart your machine, you notice that all these programs will be popping up. They'll be popping up on your screen. They are actually competing with your system or with your computer for your system resources. So in order for you to optimize your system resources or your system performance, you really have to disable some of this program you don't need to start during the startup or during your start. All right. Now the next uh, command we're gonna be looking at is what? The disk cleanup. We're gonna go to the search bar and type in disk cleanup. And you're gonna see our Windows C drive. And then we're gonna click on OK. And now the, uh, another window is going to show us a whole lot of uh, files that can be cleaned. So you see right here on top, it says you can free up to what 2.95 gig of disk space on your C or your Windows C drive. All right. So you're going to select all of these programs that uh, all of these files that contain some temp files that are eating up some of your space on your machine. Select all of them. All right, and now we're gonna we're gonna go to clean up system files. Yep. So, are you sure you wanna permanently delete the files? You say yes, and that's gonna start up your cleanup process. All right, give a permission. All right, so now you're going to be presented with another set of uh, selection. You can go ahead and select all the files that contain the temporary file, the temporary files we don't need. We select all of those, and then we click on OK, delete all files. It's going to start. All right, so now the next one we're going to be looking at is how to delete the temp files. So we're gonna to go to the Windows Start icon or the Start menu. You right click on that, you click on Run, and then we're gonna type in the temp. All right, so these are all the temp files that we don't need, because what are the temp files? temp files? These are files stored on your computer after they have been used by your computer. So you run a program or you, do, you did something on your computer, there are some files uh, randomly generated and then they're being stored on your file, I mean, on your computer as a temp file. You don't need all of these files. They're actually taking up spaces. You have to really delete some of this file once in a while. So we're gonna write, uh, we're gonna uh, do control A to select all the file and then we hit on delete key. Now before, um, let's let's cancel out of this because we don't want to use the delete keys and then goes in, uh, and they all go into uh, the recycle bin. So you want to do a shift delete, shift delete. So this is going to be what permanently delete all the 281 files instead of just using the delete and it goes into the uh, recycle bin and then you have to go into the recycle bin and re delete the files again. So we're going to do shift and delete to delete all the files permanently. Yes. You're gonna do continue. So now the next one we're gonna do is the the temp uh the percent temp and percent. So we're gonna do right click on the start menu. We click on run, and then we're gonna do the percent temp percent. All right, so now we, we're going to be presented with a similar set of files like we did before without the percentage sign. So we're going to do Control A to select all of these temp files that are eating up our space on our computer, right? Just so we can optimize our space and disk space and, you know, you know, improve our system performance. We're going to do Shift Delete once again to permanently delete all of these files. All right. All right. So now the next one we're going to be looking at is how to delete some of our, you know, the settings that we have, especially those uh, who use their computers for gaming. Or, I mean, those who don't use their computer for gaming. So we can delete some of these gaming settings just so we can free up some of our system resources that we have. So we're going to go to the start menu. We click on the start menu and then we click on the settings. 
then we're going to go to the gaming you click on the gaming right so here you see that we have what uh, this is on so enable xbox game bar for things like recording games clips chatting with friends and receiving games invite some games it requires xbox game box game bar for receiving games invite so you know if you're not a gaming person you know you don't want to leave this thing on because they actually ate into your system resources so we're going to turn off this because we don't do that and then uh, we're going to uncheck this as well if you go to the next one here that says capture all right we're going to make sure we turn off this we turn off that we don't need all of that uh turn off this turn off all the and then we go to the game mode make sure you turn off the game mode as well all of these things are going to optimize your pc when game mode uh, when game mode is on windows optimize your pc for play so we don't you don't you know if you're not a gaming person you can turn off some of this game game mode and then you can free your system resources all right and the next one we're going to be looking at is checking for updates and security to make sure your system are up to date with all the software update and the required patches you know if you do run your uh your uh, your update for you know for security and software you know you get your what you get the latest and the greatest software version for your pc and it's going to help your pc to run at the optimized level all right so how do you do that we're going to go here we're going to go to the uh, uh the start icon we left click on that we go to settings and then we're going to go to update and security all right so if your check update is uh, if you don't you, you don't have it automatically set up to check for update you know you can always check for update by clicking on this and see if there are some update that your machines are missing you know so once you get those updates make sure you run the updates and this is very, very important, especially in terms of uh, uh, Windows providing some update in terms of security and you know uh, the latest and greatest software that's gonna make your machine run smoothly and you know optimize your system performance. I know a lot of people don't you know really you know take care of uh, you know um, pay attention to running updates here and there, but it's very, very important to run your update. You can set it up so it can run automatically. So once you check your update. You know, um, you check on your update and then you can download and install all update. So this is going to download and install all the required update for your machine. And that's going to optimize your machine. So always try to check for updates and run your updates all the time. This is very, very critical, especially in this time of, well, you know, hacking and what have you. You want to make sure you have the right software, the updated software. In terms of security and what have you all right so this is going to be the end of this video this video is a short video just so we can go over how to optimize our machine in terms of what you know in terms of increasing our system performance and also you know optimizing our system resources so if you do like this video please hit the like button so the youtube algorithm will make this video be exposed to a lot of people on youtube and also you know subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you if you have subscribed already to the channel thank you but if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing to the channel and be part of the community thank you so much and then i'll see you in the next video